Toronto. That flight felt so long for a three hour flight. So I'm very happy to be landing. We just arrived in Toronto, checked in early at the St. George Hotel in Yorkville. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a room tour because this room is so beautiful. Cute little chair here where I put my bags and coat on, then our bed. And then when you look around here, we've got a nice desk and a wardrobe setting. I've unpacked a little bit of my computer stuff, my tech things, but this room is super cute. A little tour of the bathroom. This is what it looks like. Got some of our things set up, like our toothbrushes, and then all of my skincare. This is the shower. So this is really just part one of some of the work that I'm doing while I'm here in Toronto this weekend. I'm doing a collaboration with the hotel just in exchange for some content for a complimentary stay, which I feel very blessed and grateful for. And it helps that the hotel is very beautiful. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. I have a nail appointment at 12. Aaron and I are starving, so we're gonna order some egg club to our hotel, walk around the hotel, explore just a little bit, then make my way down to get my nails done. After that, we'll probably just hang out and do a little bit of work. The weather here is rainy and gloomy. You know, we're probably not gonna do that much outside. We have a dinner reservation tonight at Casa Moto. It's a sushi place for my birthday dinner. My birthday's actually tomorrow, but we're gonna celebrate it tonight just because we have a really busy schedule tomorrow and we're also going to the Raptors game for that evening portion. So today's gonna be pretty chill and I am just happy to be here. I'm very exhausted. I feel like I need a shower and get myself together, but I really just can't do that till after I get my nails done because we're on a time frame. egg club and I got some banana milk oh my gosh they look so yummy so I've never had these before but the last time Aaron was here he was obsessed with them we're just gonna eat but I just want to show you guys how beautiful they look are you excited I'm very excited <laughs> I'm gonna do a little outfit of the day because I didn't do that earlier I'm wearing my denim form jeans and then just a long sleeve from Aritzia and then I'm wearing my Burberry trench coat today although I probably should have brought something a little bit better because it is raining today. And then my Charles and Keith bag and my Reeboks sneakers. Now I'm about to go get my nails done. Aaron's gonna ride the Uber with me because I have no idea where I'm going and I don't wanna be lost, so he's gonna come with. And then he's gonna go and do a couple of things on his own for the day. I'm excited to get my nails done. <laughs> here in Toronto at Beauty 8L. Just to be fully transparent, I've never paid so much for getting my nails done in my life, but they look good. I just got back from getting my nails done. I wanna show you guys what I got. This is actually for tomorrow's shoot. I'm alluding to a little bit of something here. So you did a really good job and I'm really happy the way that it turned out. Super pretty. Aaron and I have a dinner reservation tonight. So we're just gonna hang out, have a couple of drinks, then get ready, then go out for dinner. Then we're gonna take an early night in tonight because tomorrow is my birthday. I wanna wake up early, have a nice little breakfast before we have to go off to our shoot tomorrow morning around 10 o'clock. So we're just gonna take it pretty easy and just spend some good quality time together. After I got my nails done, I stopped by Lisa Goslin in person. I've ordered her stuff online before for myself for friends, but I had to check it out and the store was absolutely beautiful. It came with this cute little bag, which is so small. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to use it for, but here are the two pieces I got. This is the pearl necklace with the three iconic little smiley faces on it, which I love so much. I am actually wearing the gold bracelet right now, which is a staple always. I was really into this silver and I know that with the silver it doesn't tarnish and then I got a pair of little huggies I was looking for the gold one okay but then I saw these and I just had to get them definitely a little birthday treat to myself but I have no regrets and I know that these pieces I'm going to be wearing constantly so I'm really happy about them and I'm actually gonna wear them tonight for my little birthday dinner here is my makeup lineup for tonight Giorgio Armani Charlotte Tilbury a classic Maybelline some milk products 
Laura Mercier, and then I have also got Kosas products. Brought only my essentials to give me a nice, clean, flawless look. I'm not doing anything crazy this weekend. And I brought two palettes. I got the One Size by Patrick Star. This one from MAC. The highlighters are so stunning. I use all three of these for my makeup look. I just blend them all. Now I need to do my makeup, probably do a little bit of extra skincare in terms of hydrating my face, and then get on with it because we're about to leave in an hour, and I think we're gonna be out for a little bit, so I just wanna make sure that I have enough time Get ready i've had already a few drinks and i'm definitely feeling a little bit tipsy so i was really tired this morning getting up at 5 a.m i had a really hard time sleeping last night because i was really excited about this trip this weekend i i don't know i just felt like a little kid you know waiting for christmas oh no i feel like this earring there's something wrong with it oh shoot that sucks oh <gasps> no oh my god i'm literally gonna break this one sec okay it's good it's a little bit malleable so i was able to clip it in properly and then i think i'm gonna put on my necklace. I'm really, really tired. So I just had a couple of drinks, hung out in bed with Erin. We watched new season of Love is Blind, which I love me some good reality TV. I know Aaron's not the biggest fan of it, but it is my birthday weekend. So he's kind of just watching whatever I want to watch, which is really sweet. For some reason, it doesn't feel real to me that I'm actually turning 25 tomorrow. This past year of being 24 has just flown by and I don't even know what it was like because just everything happened so quickly and it was honestly probably one of the best years of my life. And I know that a lot of people will talk about turning 25 and then having a little bit of a, a crisis, a little bit of an MTB, a mental breakdown, but I don't really feel that way. I feel like this phase in my life that I'm so excited about and I feel like I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I'm living this life that I have always manifested, traveling, having the man of my dreams that I journaled and manifested about, and then having all these great op opportunities for stuff that I'm actually interested in, like my work's going great, in terms of my work with content, that's going amazing, like that's mainly the reason why I'm here this weekend. I feel super grateful. I think these past couple of months, starting in January, I was just moving on to the next thing without taking a bit of appreciation for things that I've accomplished last year and things that I'm continuing to accomplish this year. I think this is what I love about vlogging. I want to be able to capture these moments because I don't want them to be gone. And if I somehow happen to live through them and not appreciate it in the moment, maybe I could look back at these videos and be like, hey, you did something because I think it's so common for us to all miss out on those moments. I'm definitely the type of person who's like, once I'm done the first thing, let's go on to the next and just just keep going and keep going on that momentum. For me internally, I'm like in a tunnel vision for this vision that I have for my dreams and accomplishments that I want to be able to do, but I need to slow down. I need to slow down, appreciate. Yeah, I mean, and this weekend too, I think I'm gonna share it now. Erin and I are going engagement ring shopping. We're working with this amazing brand to kind of make this dream come true of a ring happen. And I feel amazing that I get to be a part of this journey and that Aaron's comfortable with having me part of this journey and us building something so great together. I mean, and he's also been there with me on my entire journey of being a content creator. The reason why I'm here today, literally like in Toronto and then also vlogging, he's just been the biggest support. So it only feels right that he's with me here on this journey and we're looking for engagement rings together like that's that's insane so that's like the big secret that i've just been holding like off the moon about and i'm so excited tomorrow is that like that's what's happening we're going out for breakfast and we're going to be a couple doing an entire day's worth of shooting so it's going to be like a very great collaboration and i feel so fortunate that they see something in aaron and i to work with us and help us live out this dream while also having him next to me. So anyways, I feel like I'm just rambling, but this weekend is really exciting. And I just, we're gonna go engagement ring shopping tomorrow. I can't wait. Just a little moment of appreciation and happiness and a lot of gratitude for all the amazing things that I've just forced into my life. And um, hopefully I can look back on this in a couple of years and just be really proud of like the things that I was doing right before I was turning 25. I have, 
never had a good relationship with false eyelashes i can never get them on i don't know what it is with the shape of my eye i just have never been able to get them to stay on makeup artists myself so i've just stayed clear of them but then i discovered embossed beauty check them out on instagram this stuff is incredible i got this pack and this is called the luxury cluster lashes i've got them from 10 to 14 millimeters and it comes with this handy dandy little tweezer where you can like hold the lash and put it right under where all your lashes are growing and it comes with this glue but they also have a bond where you can like use it put it on like false eyelashes and it stays on your eyes for a week these are so easy and so quick to put on i feel like i want to be wearing these every single day it takes no time and i think it takes less time than it would if i curled my eyelashes and then i put mascara on and then the fact that i feel like i'm not actually ruining my little baby eyelashes is an amazing feeling definitely check out Emboss beauty i got sent this as a gifted item but i'm like making an order right now for a ton of these I sleep with them like it will fall off and i did do that and it all fell off on my pillowcase so if you're someone who struggles with putting on false eyelashes I cannot recommend this enough. We're almost ready to go. The last thing I need to do is put on a lip. My device is connected. What is that? This is from NYX Cosmetic in Goal Crusher. And I feel like this is the most perfect for lips, but natural looking. And I'm gonna put this on on the outside. So it looks pretty pale. But then I'm taking the NYX Professional Fat Lip Drip in Scrollin. And I'm going to put this on. It just looks like my lips, but better. I'm wearing this shirt from, I actually don't even know where, but I felt a little scandalous for my little birthday dinner to wear the color red. Makes me feel good, powerful. And we're gonna do a little OOTD, it's nothing. Honestly, my same jeans from earlier today. The shirt, and then a pair of black boots, and I'm gonna wear my long trench coat with it. <laughs> I got back from Casamoto. I feel like a grandma, but honestly, I don't even care because I wasn't feeling that well and we have a really big day tomorrow. We came back to the hotel. I got changed into my comfy shirt and I got it out of my little dressy top. And we're just gonna go to the Korean grocery store across the street, grab a ton of snacks, come back, watch Love is Blind. Honestly, nights like this, I usually prefer over going out at night. Like, I just wanna be in bed, cozy, cuddling with Aaron, and just relaxing. But otherwise, if we weren't having a big day tomorrow, we would totally be out having an, a few extra drinks, but I just feel like I wasn't feeling very good today because last night I didn't have the best sleep. Woke up super early. Today's been kind of go, go, go. So I want to just relax, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And Kasumoto was very tasty, and we had the Wagyu on the hot stone, which was really fun, and the vibes were immaculate and yeah that's really just the update i'll probably see you guys tomorrow when whole day of shebang is happening for the engagement ring shopping good morning guess who's 25 today Lizzie. this girl i really didn't get to vlog too much of my morning because we woke up i think we woke up on time just this morning is very rushed and we have to get to places. Aaron ordered me breakfast in bed, so we're gonna eat that right now. I'm gonna try and keep these hair rollers on for as long as possible before we have to leave, and then get dressed, do a little bit of packing for shoot day today, and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm at Couple. Maybe take a few little shots there, but I'll probably vlog more once that is all over for the day. I am feeling very blessed and very excited to be 25. All right, we're all dressed, ready for the day. We'll do this. We're doing an OOTD. This ironing board is in our We are a little, a little chaotic this morning. I'm wearing a lot of Aritzia, my leather pants, my shoes, my bodysuit, and this blazer. And Aaron's wearing gray chinos and a beige shirt. I feel like we're coordinating pretty good for the most part. I did my hair. I wanted to do something natural, looking fresh, but a little bit more elevated. So we're going to be there for about five hours. It's going to be a long day, but it's going to be good, right? Yes, it is. I've managed to fit all of our outfits in this one bag, so we'll just bring this along for the day and hopefully they have what they need for hair and makeup. Full little outfit for the day. I feel very fancy. I haven't dressed up like this in so long. It is definitely for a reason because 
we're going engagement ring shopping. Also, breakfast was so amazing. Very full, so I feel like I'm gonna be holding on pretty good till about lunchtime. I'll see you guys there. Just got back from our photo shoot with couple all day. We finished around 3.30. I forgot to bring my camera, which honestly is probably not the worst thing that I did just because we were so busy. It was such a fun experience. I think Aaron and I, we have found the ring. I'm not gonna show it in this video, but I do think we found the ring. All the rings we tried, all the diamonds that we had that we were able to like inspect and look really, really close to. It was just a really great educational thing that we've gone through and I feel like I know so much about diamonds now. So if any of my friends are interested, hit me up because I feel like I have a lot of info to share. The whole thing went so smooth. The hours went by so quick. So we're back in our hotel room for about 30 minutes, recharging all of our devices. We're gonna head downtown to Toronto go to King Taps, have a little bit of food before we go to our Raptors game. The game's at six. Once that ends a little bit early, I have to come back to the hotel, take a little bit more content, and we're leaving tomorrow at five o'clock in the morning to go catch our flight back home to Halifax. Fingers crossed that we don't have any delays because Aaron and I both have to work tomorrow. This was such a fun weekend, and my birthday so far has been so great, and I'm so happy. And I don't know what I, what else I could do could be doing on my 25th birthday that is as fun as this. It feels so fulfilling and rewarding to be, you know, going engagement shopping, working with an amazing brand, and then also spending time here in Toronto with Aaron. I'm overall just very happy, giddy, and glowing. And then I get to finish off the night watching the Raptors in Toronto. We went and saw them last October, and that was a fun time. So it feels like we're celebrating the night, and we're starting the night in a really good way. So sorry, I, I sucked a little bit on vlogging the couple content. We were our downtown Europe film, but like I said, I'll try and do my best and insert some fun little B-roll clips from our shopping experience. We just had dinner. We're walking over to the game now. Mm -hmm. 